What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of CLR Fishing. Today, I know y- y'all saw the title, Mr. Tackle Box Unboxing for the month of June. But I'm just going to get in real quick uh, where I've been. I just haven't been posting a lot because I've just graduated, had a lot going on. Recently, I got the boat fixed, as y'all saw. I've taken it out a couple times. I filmed a little bit, but I just, I was, like I said in the last video, I was experimenting with cameras and I just, some of the quality I wasn't liking, and uh, I just I've just been messing around. I got so I got a new reel. I don't have it with me, but I got the Corrado K um, by Shimano. I'm gonna be doing a review on that, so y'all stay tuned for that. Been trying to get trying to like use it so I can t- like give y'all honest review on how I feel about it. So been waiting on that. Just been super busy, and we, I filmed yesterday at Lake Louisville when we uh, took the boat out, but. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna make a video at it because we caught we caught about 10 or 12 fish total. It's just they were all like that big and wasn't. I mean, it was inter, it wasn't really that entertaining. So I'm, I don't think I'm gonna make a video of that. I was also traveling around the lake trying to find some new spots for a tournament that me, my dad, or me and Nick are gonna have against Dad and Vincent. So uh, that should be fun. I was just trying to find some new spots because I already know where my dad's gonna fish. So. We're gonna try to find some new spots. Let's get in today's video. Like I said, mystery tackle box, month of June. Let's see what we got. So I'll let y'all look before we get into it. I've, all, I've of course peeked in here a little bit. I got it yesterday and uh, I was just super tired of film last night. So I'm gonna make the video right now. So let's get this little digest out. Whoops, I got a sticker too. All right, so Got a $16 bait in here. Lucky craft bait, of course. Um, I guess we'll, s- let's start with the slug go. Pretty sure that's what this is. Yep. So this is the slug go. Me and my dad were looking at this earlier because it's a really unique looking bait. It's not, like it's just another, it's a shape that I've never seen before. And uh, it's basically like, a, I don't know if y'all sit well y'all can see, but it kind of bees down to a little point and it has these little grooves in the middle. And I was just messing with it and just looking at that move, if it's, if it's moving out the water like that, it'd be super good on a shaky head in the water. So definitely gonna be trying that out. Um, me and my dad actually have a night tournament coming up soon that should be fun. I don't think I'm gonna film that just cause y'all aren't gonna be able to even see anything that's a night tournament, but uh, definitely should be fun. That's something I'm gonna try out. Um, very unique. Next we have, oh, let me tell you how much that was. That was $2.60, so it wasn't too expensive. Next we have the fish attractant. Basically, put that on the on the bait. It's a shad scent. It says it's made with real shad. I think there's a cap on it. Yeah, there's a cap on it. I'm not gonna take that off right now because I don't want to risk uh, making a mess in the boat. Definitely gonna be trying this out, um, something new. Definitely like using scent on uh, lures. That I think it help, I think it makes the fish hold on a little bit longer and uh, just helps you get more bites and more hookups. So next we have the original swim bait. Now this, I was looking this out and this looks extremely, extremely well. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. Me and my dad have a tournament at Possum Kingdom in a couple weeks. Actually, next, actually this weekend, wow, time's flown. We went out there a couple weeks ago, as y'all saw in that clear, clear water video. And uh, I think this will just be killer. Cause it's very, very natural. It, uh, it's about the size of what the bait fish are in there. And uh, that just looks super, super good. So definitely gonna save that for that tournament. And that should be a fun one. Hopefully we get on the fish that we found and uh, hopefully they are there, so. This is listed at $8.99, so it's not too cheap, but it's uh, definitely made really well. Next, we have the Vile Crawl. So this is a uh, black, black and blue. Y'all know me; I don't really throw that much black and blue, but let y'all show y'all. So I actually watched a video that Mr. Tackle Box posted today, and it definitely caught my eye because I've always thought when you open these that that little thing's just supposed to be like an antenna in the middle 
like what the, that the what the craw that crawfish at. But what I saw is they took it off, they pinched it off like that, fished it like that to where the crop, the flappers are free, nothing in the middle to get hung on, and they definitely give a great action in the water. So you just throw that away, and. Uh, Definitely something unique would be really good on a Texas rig, Carolina rig. I've been messing around with the Carolina rig a lot lately, just trying to see if I can learn a new tactic. I know it catches big fish and uh, definitely uh, something new that I could try. So definitely something I can throw on there and uh, a new color to try. Let's see, next we have the Pilot. So this is a very, very unique looking bait. If you look at the eyes, it kind of looks like a, a what, bomber. Looks like a bomber looking bait, but uh, this is a, let me see, I think, yeah, this is a Mystery Tackle Box exclusive lure. I think it's a weight bait because it says zero to 2.5 feet, feet, zero to 2.5 feet in depth. So it's going to, it's going to stay in that shallow range and it's just going to, it looks like it's going to give a lot of action and uh, be uh, very violent and let the, get those fish attention. It has a very unique body. It's like a, it's like a little hump shape. I don't know how well y'all can see that, but a little hump shape has a nice color to it and uh, the new unique bill. So yeah, definitely uh, a wake bait and uh, very good in shallow water and uh, very good for those schooling fish and those uh, suspended fish that are up shallow, which this time of the year, they're probably gonna be pushing out a little bit more just cause it's hotter and when you get in that deeper water where it's a little bit cooler. And uh, that's what's been kind of weird. We just had no spring. It went from winter, had like a week of spring, and then it went straight to hot. So these fish are just all jacked up. My dad was telling me the other night, we're thinking they're still kind of shallow, just because they're still guarding their fry from when they have that little quick spawn. And uh, it's just been a really weird year. So next, we're gonna go into the most expensive bait in here. It's the Lucky Craft. Gunfish, Lucky Craft Gunfish. This color is called Archer B. Basically, what this is, it's a topwater lure, and uh, it's a walking bait. Very perfect size. It's like a perfect size that you want this time of the year. And uh, this is definitely a good night bait. So, like I said, we have a night tournament coming up, and this will be very, very vital and key that I think that I'm going to be using in that night tournament. So it's, it's a walking bait, like I said. Um, it's black, you want a darker color at night, I've heard. And uh, that's what we're just gonna be trying. So definitely something made very well, cause Lucky Craft, and definitely something that I uh, want to try. So next, oh, that's it actually. Got the sticker, American flag sticker, 4th of July. Um, has a little swim bait, jerk baits, and lipless crankbaits all on the flag and hooks for the stars so that's pretty cool but like i said and uh i was gonna tell i didn't mention in yesterday's video that's not the boat i'll be using when i'm fishing down at tarleton i'll be using this puppy right here the Nit nitro z7 and uh can't wait to use it uh i'm just it's been a while since i've been in this boat can't wait to get back on it and uh have a great time so I mean, that's gonna conclude today's video. I don't have anything else for y'all today. Uh, I'm actually gonna be gone this whole week, which y'all will probably see this the Thursday, I think, this week is when I come back. I gotta go down to Tarleton and uh, do a little duck camp that they have for the freshmen that are coming in. Should be pretty fun. Um, I've heard great things about it, and uh, can't wait to get down there and have some fun. But uh, y'all uh, stay tuned to the channel. Should be uh, getting pretty good. I know, like I said, I've said that before, but I'm going to be trying to do a lot of fishing and uh, make some great videos for y'all. So like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. That would be much appreciated. I'll see y'all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.